Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, along with my viewers. So, if you're one of the millions of Americans who suffer from itchy eye allergies like me, you may have noticed your irritated allergy eye symptoms seem to be getting worse and lasting longer. Of course, I'm looking in the camera going, who are you talking to? Of course it's happening. Experts say you're not making it up. Allergy seasons are starting earlier and lasting longer and becoming more intense. That's why I started taking my Claritin in February. Here today is optometrist Dr. Tessa Sokol joining us live from Madison, Wisconsin with some insight. Good morning, Dr. Sokol, how are you? Good morning, I'm great, how are you? Well, I, my eyes are not itchy at the point and they're not watery, but Dr. Sokol, first, can you talk about what it's like to live with itchy eye allergies what causes them and how we can tell if we're experiencing eye allergy symptoms? I can tell you it is horrible. My patients have been coming in in waves just complaining about red, watery, itchy eyes. With the pollen outside right now, it really creates irritated eyes that make it really hard to work on computers. It makes it hard to function. Friends will think that they're crying or upset, wondering why they're rubbing their eyes all the time. It is so uncomfortable. It is, trust me. I, I sit there at coffee in the morning at Starbucks with a napkin next to my hand, trying to dry my eyes out. Now research <laughs> shows that people are now suffering through longer allergy seasons. Why is that? That's true. Climate change has really affected our pollen season. I read one study that our pollen season is starting 40 days sooner, and the pollen counts can be up to 250% higher. It is crazy at my office right now. I have patients coming in so much sooner complaining about itchy eyes than they ever have before. Now, what suggestions do you have for managing eye allergy symptoms? That is a great question because a lot of mistakes that people make before they come to see me is that they'll go to a pharmacy, head to the allergy section, and then see an entire eye drop wall thinking that any of them will work. But what happens is that histamines are being released when our eyes are reacting to the pollen that's in the air, and it's making our eyes very itchy. Extra Strength Pad Day is where I send my patients to because it is an antihistamine that works directly at the source of the itch. One drop in each eye allows to have relief from itching within, within minutes, and it has a full 24-hour relief, and it has even been shown to outperform Claritin when it comes to itchy eyes. You know what, that's good for me to know. So what suggestions do you have for managing eye allergy symptoms? For managing eye allergy symptoms, the best thing you can do is to try to avoid being exposed to the allergen if possible. If you know what you're allergic to and you try to not be outside if the pollen counts are high or you keep your doors and windows shut during the high pollen count time, maybe run air filtration systems, that can help, that can help make your eyes not become itchy if the pollen isn't affecting it. But of course, if you do suffer from itchy eyes from the pollen or you do want to enjoy being outdoors, extra strength pad a day is a great way to help relieve the symptoms of itching. Now, is there any way to avoid eye allergy triggers or prevent symptoms? Avoiding them is very challenging, especially with the season being as long as it is the pollen count being so high. I traveled down to South Carolina last week and there were just drifts of pollen. If you can avoid it, that would be great, but it's really hard unless you're sitting indoors all the day, all the time with your windows shut and running, running air filtration systems. So if you do suffer from it, using extra strength pad a day will help, but avoiding the, the allergen in the first place is the best way to go. All right, doctor, where can I go? Where can my viewers go for more information? Hopefully some symptom relief. Extra strength pad -a is over the counter. That's one of the greatest parts about it is you can go to the pharmacy or any local retailer and just pick it up over the counter without having a prescription. But if you want more information on the, on the product, padaday.com is an excellent resource. 
Been speaking with optometrist Dr. Tessa Soko. She's been helping me and my viewers out with our itchy eyes and allergies. Thank you again so much for joining us on Morning Blend. More than anybody, I really do appreciate it. Thank you. I hope you have a great day. You too.